Hi everybody, uh, Martin from Preact again. And this short video is just going to show you the new search experience that's available in model driven power apps, um, dynamics um, apps that you might already have. Um, you can turn this feature on in the admin um, area of power, power platform. It's under features um, and it's just the, the new search experience tab that you just need to enable. Um, the benefits of this obviously is to just help with search results and and, and use a bit of a intelligence um, to give you the results that you need. So what I mean by that is in the past you had to use a wildcard search and make sure you've got the right terminology and things like that enabled. Now we've got the ability to look at recent results. Um, we can leverage, it will start looking at the word that you're typing and give you you know, prompts. But we can also, it will also pick up misspellings as well, which I'm going to show you. So the way this works, if we click in the search area here, the first thing you'll note, as soon as you click into it, it will show you the last three things that you've searched for physically up here. But what it will also do is it will then separate out all of the things that you've actually got in your recents tab over here. So you can see ITV, wants T-shirt printing, Aaron, it's picking up those records over there as well that you've already got, you know, that you've recently viewed while you've been working in in your instance. Um, but then we can start typing. So if we start typing, say, a word like this, you can see it will say, okay, these are all the results that we've got. At this point, we haven't clicked um, enter and search for all of the records. It's just saying, okay, these might be the people that you're you're looking for, and you can click show more results, or you can push enter, and it will then return all results for the value that you've added in. So what you can then see down here is it will split this out into like a, a list format. Um, you can see top results here, um, contacts, there's seven, there's seven leads, one account, 19 messages, one opportunity, one phone call and one appointment. But what it will also do, you can see now if I click over here on the right hand side, I could, I could split this out by ownership. I could split it out by created on or modified on dates if I need to. But if I click into say the contacts, you can then see it's looking at all of these contacts but it's pulling in the first three values as well here from, from the columns that we've got. So you can see our age over here. We've got male, which is the second column, and then we've got company name. So I could actually put in here a value like say 30, um, push enter. So between 30 and 100, you can then see it will go away and it's now filtering out the results that we've got. Very similar to what you can do in advanced finds and things like that. So it's quite really quite useful. Um, and as I said, it will, it will give you those results. And like I said, if you click into say there, it will then show you again the values that you've got, the first three columns here that's not the unique GUID record. You can see customer, revenue, close date. These are the three columns that we've got in our search view. Um, but what it's also good is it's misspelling. So the more that you obviously search for values, you're training the database to understand. It's using a bit of AI technology. If I spell John wrong, for example, like that with an I, and I push enter, it will still go away and it will know what I'm trying to search for. So it's still giving me results because it knows that I've probably spelt this wrong. So you can see in all the time I've been doing this, I've not had to put my asterisks in for my wildcard search, but it's really quite intuitive in terms of it breaking down the records and you applying filters over here. Of course, once the results come up, you can then just click into any one of these and it will take you straight into that record. Thanks for listening. If you're interested in this and you want to know a bit more about how you can turn this on in your environment, please feel free to get in touch. Be more than happy to help.